Hello everyone. Welcome to JJK Master Class. Guys, today we will see the application of aluminium isopropoxide reagent and aluminium ethoxide. As you can see, aluminium isopropoxide we can see in the Mirwent Pondor Perli reduction reaction and aluminium ethoxide we will see here under Tishenko reaction. So here we are going to solve two problems related to the previous year MSc chemistry question paper and the reagents are not only important for BSc and MSc students but you can find these reagents application in all the competitive exams like IIT JAM, CSI NAT and GATE examination. So the very first problem is you have to predict the product and mechanism for the following reaction. As you can see, the aromatic aldehyde is given along with the aluminium isopropoxide and isopropyl alcohol. So whenever you have alcohol and aldehyde group or ketone group in the presence of aluminium isopropoxide, you can consider it as mirwen pondorf verley reduction reaction. So it is also called MPV reduction reaction in short form. So what happens here, here the reduction of aldehyde or ketone takes place to alcohols by the treatment of aluminium isopropoxide in the excess of isopropyl alcohol. So if isopropyl alcohol and aluminium isopropoxide is present along with the carbonyl group, then you can consider it is, it is the MPV reduction reaction and the carbonyl is reduced to alcohol. So the product is going to be the alcohol here, benzyl alcohol, the benzyl dehyde will convert into benzyl alcohol. So now we will see the mechanism, how this reaction is taking place. Basically only one uh, molecule of uh, benzyl dehyde will react with the one molecule of uh, aluminum isopropoxide. But here since it is given two, we will uh, see the uh, two molecules of the product are going to form. Now, how does this mechanism is taking place? You can note here the oxygen uh, being electronegative and aluminium being electropositive. This bond is a very polar bond and easy to break. So, if this bond is going to break and give its electron to the carbonyl, so it's easy to transfer the hydrogen to the carbonyl carbon, which is the electrophilic carbon here. So, the transfer of uh, hydrogen will take place to the carbonyl carbon and the electrons from the oxygen will go to the electropositive species to the aluminium. So how this formation will take place you can notice the hydrogen has been transferred to the carbonyl carbon so it becomes CH2 and now this oxygen is forming a bond with this Al OCH Me2 hole twice. With the reduction of this group to or oxidation you can say the, the, the group is oxidized to ketone here with the loss of acetone we are getting this molecule here. So how as I have already told you the polar bond between oxygen and Al is easy to break and give its electron to CO bond and so the hydrogen the carbonyl the hydrogen attached to this carbonyl group C single bond O group will move to the carbonyl carbon and followed by the release of electrons to the from the oxygen to aluminium right so another polar bond is going to form between oxygen and al now you have excess of isopropyl alcohol so how our molecule the aldehyde group is converting into alcohol you can notice here you can see again the aluminium which is electropositive and the oxygen being uh, electronegative, aluminum will take the electron from oxygen, a OL bond is going to form. So this uh, hydrogen from the alcohol is easy to transfer to the oxygen of the carbonyl group and so it is reduced to alcohol with the loss of aluminum isopropoxide. So we are regenerating the reagent here in the second step. And this is a mechanism you can show for the MPV reduction reaction or the conversion of aldehyde or ketone to the alcohol. The second reaction uh, is both the reactions are taken from the BCU previous year question paper, MSc chemistry. So predict the product and propose the mechanism here. Here you can see the conjugated aldehyde is given here along with the aluminium ethoxide. 
the notice point is here that you don't have isopropyl alcohol here and you don't have the proton in this like we had in isopropyl group to transfer to the uh, carbonyl group so basically this is not the mpp reduction reaction so how we will form the product actually this is the tishenko reaction where the disproportionation takes place and it forms the esters with the two equivalent of the aldehyde how we will see that here the catalyst is either aluminum alkoxide or sodium alkoxide so basically whenever you see this aluminum ethoxide or sodium ethoxide or methoxide uh, with the two molecule of aldehyde you can think of tishenko reaction and here instead of reduction this proportionation will takes place so the product is this and we will see how we are going to design this molecule so first step is the aluminum alkoxide which acts here lewis acid and will coordinate with one of the molecule of the aldehyde which facilitate the addition of the second equivalent of aldehyde since two aldehyde molecules are given here so first uh, molecule will form a coordinate bond with the aluminum alkoxide and then which attract the second molecule of aldehyde and generate the hemiacetal intermediate so now we will see you have the aldehyde here and you have aluminum alkoxide so again uh, electronegative oxygen and electropositive aluminum a bond is going to form between the two and you can notice here since oxygen is giving its electron to the aluminum oxygen will gain a positive charge and aluminum will have the negative charge on it and you can also represent this structure like uh, uh, if yeah so you can show here if this carbonyl carbon since we know oxygen having a positive charge is highly unstable stage so here the carbon is electrophilic and will give its electron to the oxygen and you can also show this structure like this so basically this structure will exist in this state where carbon is having positive charge and oxygen will have the lone pair of electron and now since this is the intermediate which will attract so this is the molecule which is forming a coordinate bond here and will facilitate the attraction of the second equivalent of the aldehyde because here carbonyl oxygen is having positive charge so another aldehyde group the oxygen will give its electron to the electrophilic carbon and followed by the electron donation to the oxygen so since this reaction is taking place uh, you can show this uh, oxygen will gain a positive charge but uh, you can notice here oxygen is giving a positive charge but again we know oxygen uh, cannot be in the positive state so it will be basically you can show the carbon is giving its electron and so carbon is ultimately will have the positive charge so these are the intermediate form and this is the hemiacetal you can notice here the carbon is having two oxygen here so hemiacetal intermediate which will be the starting the you can say in the second step we are going to start the reaction from this only and here one three hydride shift takes place to form our product how we will notice this so you can notice here as we are saying in this uh, species which we have designed in the first step the hemiacetal 1 3 hydride shift so we have a hydrogen i have numbered here also 1 2 3 position so if you have studied sigma tropic rearrangement it is very easy to understand this step so hydrogen from the one position is transferred to the third position because uh, here it is having the positive charge so this bond is giving its electron to the third so how because ox again oxygen and aluminum being the polar bond is easy to break will facilitate to release this uh, alpha carbon from this and will move to the third carbon so which is the 1 3 hydride shift so how it is taking place you can just see here loss of aluminum alkoxide or regeneration of the reagent will takes place followed by this okay so you are having here notice the carbonyl group formation and you have o oxygen present into this so basically and this oxygen is attached to ch2 ch double bond ch2 so this is the final product you can also write in this form you can see here the vinyl group you have ester group and you have allyl group here and this is a product which is a disproportionate uh, reaction under tishenko reaction 
and i hope uh, that uh, both the reactions and its mechanism you have understood and uh, try to solve more questions on both the reagents or both reactions so that you can clear your doubt and clear your mechanism so that if the question comes you can easily predict the product with its mechanism happy learning see you in the next video